what's going on y'all welcome to meet cranium barbecue review today i'm gonna do something that i've been wanting to do for a long time is alligator now i got uh two pounds of some alligator here alligator filet right here i got these from my local grocery store publix now what i was gonna do with this alligator is i was gonna fry and do some uh some alligator nuggets but then I turned around to the back here and there's a recipe here for uh, an alligator sauce pecan. So I'm gonna be uh, using this recipe, but I'm gonna be kind of like modifying it, kind of a, a multi-step process. I'm gonna be making this on the Weber kettle, just like I did last time. In my Camp Chef, 12 inch Dutch oven. Let's get started. This is, uh, I gotta soak the, I'm gonna soak the alligator in wine for one hour. It's to tenderize it and it gives a flavor. And being Portuguese, uh, we like to cook with wine. Even though I don't personally drink wine myself, I do like to cook with wine. And I'm also gonna be adding garlic to this recipe. And I'm also gonna be um, doing a little bit more of what the ingredients that they suggest. I'll be doing a little bit more to add a little bit more, more flavor. Cause I was reading through it, I was like, nah, I could really use a little bit more of this. Let's get started. Uh, this is hopefully not gonna be very long of a video. Here's the alligator. I'm gonna be cutting these up into some, uh, here, there. Looks pretty dang nice. It's a, it's a nice, like a white meat. I'll be cutting these up into chunks. There we go. Now it's gotta cut these down into chunks so it cooks up better in the, uh, just do them like, uh, like one inch chunks or something. You don't gotta do them very big. This is the size I would do if I was frying them up. That's about the size I would do, so. Here's our bowl, put this in the bowl. Okay, the only wine I have is a cooking wine. It's good enough. I'm gonna let this soak for one hour, then I'll begin the cooking process. Okay, so in here I have 34 coals. I have 22 to go on top and I've got 12 to go up under. So I got 34 coals inside here. Let's get these uh, coals lit. My barbecue dragon fan, I got some batteries for and it's back in operation. All right, so here's all the vegetables I'm gonna be using. Uh, well, pretty much all of them. I got, I got more I gotta use. I've got, uh, it said it requires uh, six ounces of mushrooms, but I love mushrooms. I'm gonna cut some of these down a little bit, make them a little bit smaller pieces. That's good. Let's we'll start off with some onion right here. Of course, you gotta have onion, a Louisiana dish. Yay, a little bit of onion. Got a shallot, got a green pepper, got a shallot. I'm gonna try to keep as much as onion as I can, so I'm gonna cut it kinda. Oh yeah, with onions, keep the uh, keep the root on there. It makes it real easy to cut. Even though I didn't cut this one even, but oh well. And we're not gonna do this uh, really fine. We're gonna do it kinda chunky. Shallot, same thing. The shallot's gonna be towards the end. I'm not gonna put it in right away. And I uh, got some green pepper right here. Green pepper, here's a trick for green pepper. Stand it up. Start from the top, work it down to the bottom. And you void. All that, see? A little trick with uh, green pepper. Okay, cut these up kind of chunky. Yeah, I think I got some garlic too. Where'd my garlic go? I'm gonna put four cloves of garlic in there. This is easy, right here. Check this out. Trigger garlic. Take it, smash it. Stuff comes right off. At least for these little ones it does. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We got these four right here. Here we go. All right, good on garlic. Let's get a pit set up. All right, so this is almost the same exact setup I had when I did the, um, what a, oh yeah, the rabbit stew. So I'm gonna put uh, 12 right here. Got some small pieces here. Time for the Dutch oven to go over that. Sure, it's on my bricks. 
There we go. Gonna heat this up. Let me get these uh, charcoals back around here. About to get this, uh, get some oil in here, so I get all the vegetables in there. I'm gonna go ahead and pour these, uh, these coals on top of here. I might go ahead and do some more coals up for the top. Uh, these here kind of burned down while I was waiting. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and burn up, and get some more coals uh, going. Put those on top. Okay, I'm gonna go with about one third cup of some vegetables, some cooking oil. Let that heat up real good. All right, just put a little bit of water in there, and you hear that sizzle. That means it's ready. Gonna brown the uh, the onions up first. Add some garlic, the mushrooms. Okay, I'm gonna let this simmer here for a little bit. I'm gonna go inside. I forgot I get uh, I gotta get uh, uh, three pieces of celery. So cut those up. All right, so I forgot about three socks of celery. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna cut this all down and I'm gonna throw that in here after this is nice and browned up. Okay, so that is really starting to cook down. Really nice. I'll move the camera over here. Now I'm going to add the uh, celery, the green pepper. Now I'm going to cook this for a few minutes. Brown this up. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, tenderize or get the uh, the green pepper and the, um, the celery uh, cooked in there. And then uh, I'll be back for the next step, put in the sauces and the seasons in there. I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, add some heat to the top. There we go. Now I've got a few more coals right here. Went ahead and did up. There we go. That's gonna get it real nice and uh, hot inside there. I'm not gonna do it too long, I'm just gonna do it for just maybe a minute or so. And then that should be all that those, uh, the celery and the uh, green peppers need. Oh, time to move it again. All right, so it's been a minute or so, about a minute, a minute and a half. Yeah, these are looking perfect, look at that. Yep, nice and browned up. All right, now it's time to add everything else. So I got a uh, one 15 ounce can of some uh, tomato sauce, heavy can of uh, Rotel. Pepper in there. We're gonna do uh, two tablespoons of some Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, wort sauce. Two tablespoons. That's about it right there. We do about half a teaspoon of some oregano, right there. One bay leaf. Put that in there. Got some basil as well. Here we go. About half a teaspoon of that. Get that nice and stirred in. All right, there we go, that's good. Now it's time to get the alligator in. This alligator's been soaking in wine now for, for about an hour and a half. So it's, uh, it's in that wine. You see how it kind of turned uh, the color? It looks real nice. All right, I'm gonna let that cook now for about 40 minutes. And now I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna add the other stuff to it. Uh, just so you know, I forgot to add uh, salt. I think that's enough heat coming from the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these coals from the top, just clear that all off, and uh, just let the bottom uh, heat up. It had the heat coming from the bottom. All right, so while this cooks, I want y'all to go check out a channel. He's a Louisiana guy, and every time that I think of Louisiana, Louisiana cooking, Louisiana food, I always think of Big Lou Barbecue. I'll put his link down below, or I'll try to put an iCard if I can, like right here. Um, I've been having a hard time uh, trying to do iCards. But y'all go check out Big Lou Barbecue. Really good. So check him out. The guy's awesome. I'm going to have him move the coals to the outside. I'm going to put it back on there to try to lower the temperature on the inside of the uh, Dutch oven. I'm going to put the Dutch oven back on. All right, so now right there, it should lower it down to just a simmer. Is exactly what I need. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. Um, I went ahead and just tried a piece. It's already, the, the alligator's already tender. Now I'm gonna add the shallots. So then I'm also gonna add a little bit of uh, dry parsley here at the end. Right here, just gonna hide some dry parsley. Just a little bit. There we go. Maybe like half a teaspoon. But it's already, uh, it's, it's tastes, it tastes absolutely phenomenal. And I'm glad I went with the more tomato sauce because it wouldn't have been, uh, it wouldn't have been good if I went with less tomato sauce. So definitely a 15 ounce can of some uh, some sauce and uh, I'm making up some some rice right now when I when the rice is done this will be done as well actually I'm probably gonna take this off in about probably five ten minutes I'll take this off and then I'll be done with it all right so it's about ten minutes later it is or should be done there you go that's done all right 
Taking it off, gonna put it on the table. All right, just gonna sit here and, uh, and cool down while the rice gets done. Let's do some assembly. Y'all hear that? One of my numb nut neighbors uh, decided to get uh, some kind of, I don't know, some kind of cutter going. So it's pretty loud right now. This is what it looks like. Alligator sauce pecan. This actually reminds me a lot of my family's Portuguese recipe for bacalao. Now there's a lot of versions of bacalao, so people say, oh, that's not how you make bacalao, that's how you make bacalao. Look, every single Hispanic Latino nation on the face of the planet has their own version of bacalao. But this is probably, I'd say, the Louisiana version of bacalao. Alligator sauce pecan. Here's a piece of alligator. Very tender. I'll show you, look. Okay, here's a piece right here. Cuts right with the fork. See, just cut. Perfect. This stuff is the bomb. Let me get away from the camera. Anyhow, this hair makes up for that vegan Beyond Meat Burger that I did. That was, uh, but well, I thought it was fun to do. Anyhow, y'all go check out uh, Big Lou at Big Lou Barbecue. I'm just sitting here stirring this up right now. Try with the rice. That is a guaranteed winner. Man, I like that. Oh yeah, I want to uh, end with this. I had somebody, uh, some some other another numb nuts, uh, complained about me uh, doing uh, gang symbols and stuff like that at the beginning and go like that. Well, look, they're not freaking gang symbols, you moron. It's M for meat and then C. For cranium, you idiot. Check this out. So, where I got that idea for doing this, if y'all ever watched the show, uh, Man vs. Food, he used to do some stuff with his hands. I thought it was kind of cool, so I kind of, and no one's ever caught on to it, and that's where I got it from. So I was kind of hoping that somebody was going to kind of get where I got the whole hand gesture same thing from. But trust me, I'm not a gangster. It's not from, that's not from a freaking gang. It's, it's me, MC for me cranium. If you didn't, did that dawn upon you? You're stupid. Anyhow, like, subscribe. I'll see you next week. Ciao. Oh, look at that. Another gang symbol. I'm, I'm doing a peace out sign. Oh no, I've been doing it since the beginning. Look at that. Oh, I'm such a gangster. Uh, ciao.